Welcome to the Parent's Guide to Google Classroom. As we embark on distance learning, we want you to have all of the resources and support you need to assist your student to success. So what is Google Classroom? Think of it as a way for your student to stay digitally connected to their learning. Teachers will use Google Classroom to share assignments, to accept work that's turned in, to post resources, including video and digital text, and other materials that will be useful, and most importantly, to stay connected with parents and students. They get started by clicking on the Google Chrome browser icon. The student will type www.google.com into the web address bar. If any user is already signed into Chrome, the student will click on the profile picture and choose Sign Out. Locate the profile picture in the top right hand corner of the screen. Click sign out on the bottom of the menu. Now the student can go to portal.mesquiteisd.org and type their username and password. Your child was provided with a secure login and password that is unique to them. They can check with their teacher to obtain this private information or you can ask them to add you as a parent via email. This is the format of login information for our students. PK through second grade students, their username is their student ID, and the password is the last four digits of the student ID, and it's also the iStation login and password if that helps the student remember. Students who are in third to 12th grade log in with the last two digits of their birth year. If they were born in 2010, it would be 10 the first three letters of their first name, the first three letters of their last name, the last five digits of their student ID, and here's an example on the screen. The password is the entire student ID, and student emails are all their username and mesquiteisd.org. Now the student will see that they are signed in to their Google Apps for Education account, and they are ready to go. They will now choose the Google Classroom icon from the Portal Apps. This may show up, class link browser extension not installed or enabled. That's okay. The student will click continue to website and it will take them there. Next, the student will enter their district email address to get into their Google account. Once into Google Classroom, the student will click the plus sign and join the class by entering the code given to them by their teacher. If a student is already enrolled in that class, they simply click on the class that they wish to enter. Within the classroom, there's a page with page tools. The items that are of high interest for parents are the ones with a smiling star next to them. Parents would like to see what assignments have been done and of the upcoming assignments their students need to complete. Assignment details give important information that the teacher has put in, including materials, resources, information about due dates, and other important information. Luckily, there's access anywhere through the web or Apple or Android apps. Students can use an Android, iPhone, tablet, or desktop. Go to the App Store or Google Play to download Google Apps that allow students to edit Google assignments from any device that is connected to the internet. Here's a tip, use either incognito mode or go in as a guest browser to make it easier to enter Google Classroom if you're having trouble. If you have been granted parent or guardian view, you will receive a, port, a report every week about the assignments and your student's progress on those assignments. If you have any questions, please see the resources at the bottom of the page. And we would like to thank Tanya Bratton for creating this slide theme that we used for this presentation. Thank you.